Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. This is Vita Fuser. In our last episode, we made it into Waterfall. And we also, after a few bumps in the road, got hunted by a Dark Knight, whose name is Undyne. We've narrowly escaped her twice. And if the law of uh, storytelling goes, we'll have another time to avoid her and probably have to fight her again. You know, stories, they like rules of three. Alrighty. Thinking about getting into the telescope business. Normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope. But since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? I know what this is going to be. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. DUDE! And I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution! PUNCH CARDS! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. You have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. It warms your heart. Now nah, just 25 gold. Sure. Here you go. Your card's in the box. Knowing us, we're probably going to need a, <laughs> a few of these. got a punch card. Hey, you got three punch cards. How about redeeming them for some ice cream? It's free. There, free ice cream. That'll be good. I'd say that was money well spent. And just to be doubly sure, I'm saving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have you got? What's a star? Can't you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Not even close, buddy boy. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Do I want to go down here? Now, if you actually killed Toriel, there would be a uh, special flower. We can't go over there. So we have to go down here. It's a pair of ballet shoes. You got the ballet shoes. Item. Use. You equip the ballet shoes. We're not Bereshnikov, but ballerinas are freaking tough. They have to be to be able to lift other people's weights and do all that crazy shit. I know, 
because my sister has spent a ton of her life learning ballet, along with a whole bunch of different other art st uh, dance styles. Let's see, a tough glove. Put that back. Go back and save. Papyrus, uh, remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very... murdery. I was going to think stabby, but that works. I could tell. But I bet you all knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A bandana. Because I knew, because of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Oh, if only you knew, Papyrus. Alright, who is this? Baltimore. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. The power to take their souls. This is the power that humans feared. Yup, that would do it. Never mind the fact we don't exactly use our souls to begin with. Oh? Noticed you were here. I'm Onion Son. Onion Son, you here? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? That's good. The murdery night kind of diminishes the factor, but hey, <coughs> I wouldn't mind setting up a home here. I kind of like. I kind of like places like this. Yeah, me too! It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey! That's okay! It beats moving to the city! Amen to that! There is a lot of weird shit in the city. And it's so freaking expensive everywhere. And living in a crowded aquarium, Aquariums are not that bad, but I can probably see it would be aquarium. Like all my friends did. Ah, that's rough, buddy. That's rough. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? You do that. The ocean's awesome. If I could, I could retire on a beach. But knowing me, I probably can't. Because beach stuff is even more expensive than stuff in the sticks. Ironically. Hey, uh, hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. I have a good time. In waterfall.
Alrighty. What do we have here? Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Let's see, hum. You hum a sad song. Shiren follows your melody. See you see you see you, Mimi. Shiren seems much more comfortable singing along. Oh, that's nice. Okay. The northern room hides a great treasure. It's a piano-based thing. A haunting song that goes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. So, play the first eight notes of a melody that we haven't heard before. We'll be able to hear it later. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. It actually turns into dust. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and that is actually how you get stronger in a uh, neutral walkthrough. And now it never will. It certainly won't in this one, that's for sure, because I'm not killing any monsters, not even the bosses. Gonna bite me in the butt next time. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Please take one. Take an umbrella. There. Put the umbrella on the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. This might be a reference to the music boxes of Earthbound. Let's see if I can actually do this. I just have to figure out what the piano key for that circle thing is. There's a piano here. Play it. What was I doing again? X quit. I have the freaking memory of a goldfish, don't I? So it's nothing up right, nothing down, down, left. Z. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? You're carrying too many dogs. Dogs, huh? A 
annoying thug. What are you doing here? I like dogs. But you're out. You deployed the dog. Hey! The dog absorbs the artifact. Hey, I needed that! Dude, really? <sighs> eh, well, easy come, easy go. Take an umbrella? Yeah, we'll take an umbrella. Yeah, that's like a typical Pacific Northwest rainy day. Yo, you got an umbrella! Awesome! Let's go! Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. King, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. It got me thinking... Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? You're definitely not learning the right thing. She could beat up all the teachers. She could, but you wouldn't really be learning anything after that, except the fact that Undyne beats up people. Now, uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Really, now. I'm innocent. She's trying to stab me. Oh, that is some pretty neato parallaxing right there. Hey, what? That is neato. Return the umbrella? Yeah, put it back. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. You want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Without doing any sprite transformations. You go on ahead. Don't worry about me. Always find a way to get through. You also always find a way to trip on your face, too. Okay. Yeah. Ow. There's my watch reminding me. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. The serene sound of a distant music box fills you with determination. Yeah, we're doing that. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Uh-oh. One of these. Oh boy. There you are again. Jeez, spear magic out the yin yang. Okay. 
Okay, we have to go down. Oop. I got that one got me. Ah, let me go down. Somehow I, I avoided that. We got no place to run now. like it came from over there. Oh! You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Kara, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... And we never hear it. Yellow flowers, huh? What are we, we're in a garbage dump. waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage fills you with determination! We're going to save here, and I'm going to call it here right now, so I will see you guys next time. Later, guys!